the links page. Now the links page is pretty much the same as the link page, except for that it is the plural. It's links instead of one link. So let's add that to our application. Here we go. Links page. Once again, we can change the icon and we can change the name. Useful tools. And once we've changed that, a couple of other things we can do with the links page, as opposed to the link page, which is a single one, is we can insert a cover image. So we can insert a cover image. And then start adding links. So the first link could be Facebook page, where we will just grab our link over here, add it in there. Okay, and the next one could be, we can add another link, we can call it help files, and we can just use this one, and add it in there, and so on and so forth. So if you have a look over here, you'll see useful tools, there's a cover image, and then these are the live links to wherever I want to redirect my users to. So that's the links page. It's actually quite handy if you've got specific offers and you need to track where it goes, like, um, for instance, affiliate offers or things like that. Or if you just want to give your users some useful information or links to other blogs and pages and apps. And there you go. That's the links page.